What's up guys, Eid Mubarak and what a day today. We have the return of the Samsung Goodlock application, the 2018 version. And with this, we have a possible sneak peek of the features that Samsung will add with the Android 9.0 Samsung Experience UI. So a bunch of different things to discuss here. I will also show you how to install it on your Samsung phone running Android 8.0 Oreo. So pretty much any Samsung phone running Android 8.0 Oreo can install these new features. Now, now just in case you don't know about the Goodlock application, Samsung basically released this back in 2016 before the launch of the Galaxy Note 7 and it showed us some sneak peek of the features that Samsung later added on the Android 7.0 Nougat with the Galaxy Note 7. So this year, the Goodlock 2018 is showing us some features that will be added with the Android 9.0 potentially and there's a high possibility we'll see these features on the Galaxy Note 9 as well. Now before I get into the review, I want to show you how to install this on your phone. So you have to visit the link in the description which will take you to this page and from here you can download all the applications including the Goodlock 2018. Now the Goodlock application is exclusive to Korea right now so it's not going to work uh, probably on your Samsung phone. You can try but uh, you'll definitely see a blank screen whether it's a Galaxy S9 Plus or a S8 or Note 8. So I've tried out on a bunch of different phones but the good thing is that you don't actually need the Goodlock application. You can install all these new featured application uh, separately by visiting the link down below in the description. You will see a zip file called as Goodlock 2018 including all these module applications you can install them one by one and then you will see some of them pop up on your app drawer only three of them will show up on your app drawer. Now to gain access to all these installed applications, you have to install the NOAA launcher from the Google Play Store. It's free, it's pretty easy, just search NOAA. Once you install the NOAA launcher, go to the widgets tab and type NOAA and you will see the activities widget. Go ahead and tap and hold it and put it on your home screen. And once you do that, it will basically give you a full list of applications that you don't really see on the app drawer. So look for the applications that don't pop up on your home screen. For example, for example, the lock star. So you have to click on it and then click on this. As you can see, it now appears on your phone otherwise it was hidden so you have to install the NOAA launcher in order to do that and it's pretty simple you don't really need the Google lock application you can just get all these by this way separately now with that out of the way let's get into the actual features what is the Android 9.0 sneak peek of the Samsung Experience UI that we'll see in the future update so seven applications in total now first on the list is the toss changer Samsung has made a huge change to the app drawer of your phone uh, with this new sneak peek so as you can see it looks really really good with the animation just the way it pops up looks and feels really smooth and and this look is obviously inspired from android p beta that we have uh, on the google pixel uh, 2 xl here so you can see very similar look and this is the first sign that it is actually a sneak peek uh, most likely a sneak peek of the android p experience ui coming in the future top of the next one so it looks really good whereas on this you have just the cards and that's it and of course when you hold on to the application icon you will be presented by a couple of options such as going to the app information or lock the application or hide content which is again samsung going next step compared to the stock Android. So you can actually hide content, meaning when you are in the multitasking tray, uh, no one can see the actual content because it's hidden. So it's really cool that Samsung has added this feature uh, with its own version of the Android B style multitasking tray. On some applications that are supported, you will get an extra option for opening them up in a pop-up view. So when you do that, the application will be opened up on your phone as a pop-up view so you can open any other application like phone dialer or play store or browser or calculator that thing will remain on your screen again it's a advanced form of multitasking well here you don't get the split screen option by holding on to the card of the application so for that you have to hold on to this application icon and hence it reveals that split screen option where you can just quickly press it and go into that mode. As you can see, currently it has some bugs. It doesn't work that well. So this is the new DOS changer that Samsung will be implementing in the future update. And you also have the close all key, which is really good, which by the way, you don't get on the Pixel. Uh, I think with the latest developer preview, they have added a clear all key at the very 
end of the card but with Samsung you have it at the bottom which is more convenient since you don't have to scroll all the way at the end to find that close all button and just a side by side look with the older Oreo multitasking tray with the Samsung Experience UI 9.1 and again, I would definitely prefer this one over the old one. It looks much better. Now, next application on the list is called as Lockstar. Now, this is an advanced way of lock screen customization. So you got different styles. You can create your own style by clicking this plus key. And as you can see, it presents you with a bunch of different uh, clean light skinned wallpapers that you can try out. Or you can go to your gallery and try out your own wallpapers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one. And once you select the wallpaper, here you have the time, the calendar information, the notification information, and this plus key. This plus key is basically for the app shortcuts. So you can create up to six app shortcuts, which is absolutely amazing. Six applications are more than enough. I mean, it covers Twitter, Instagram, all the main useful, most used application, at least for me, it will be a really easy and fast way to use my phone. So I'm gonna select randomly some applications that your boy mostly use. So as you can see, six out of six, when you apply, you will see all these applications in the dock. Now you can actually change the applications further by changing their position. So if you press this arrow key, as you can see, they move towards right, press it again, they move towards left, press it again, they go back to their position. So you can move them from left, right, or at the dock. And notice how the time moves as well. If you keep doing that, the time actually goes down here, which is also really cool. Now we also get the clock customization as well. So you have a bunch of different uh, clock styles, actually very similar to the always on. So let's choose this one, looks really cool, minimalistic. And of course you can check the item visibility as well. And then we have a really cool option here called as item visibility, which basically allows you to select which stuff you want on your lock screen. So if I select all of these, they will appear on the lock screen such as the music control, uh, the time, lock screen status such as swipe screen to unlock and the status bar. So for example, if I don't want to see the status bar, I can just uncheck that and boom, that goes away. Same thing with the music controller. If I don't want that on the lock screen, I can do that as well. Amazing customization. And once you are done, just hit save and it basically makes a style profile on your Lockstar application. So I can quickly jump into the application by swiping on that app and boom, there goes the Instagram uh, that is open really quickly. So I don't have to do all those scrollings and go into folders. I can just quickly access my most used, my most favorite applications right from the lock screen. Now you also get different swipe gestures as well. So you can have it on just swipe, which means you can unlock your phone by just swiping anywhere or you can have it a specific. So let's say swipe down to unlock. So now I can only unlock my phone by swiping down. It's not gonna work if I do this or this. And it also gives you a smooth animation showing that it will unlock by swiping down. And furthermore, you can change the app shortcut interaction. So by default, we have Samsung default option, which allows you to just swipe and open application, or you can have it on a touch. So if I just touch Instagram, it's gonna open it up. But as you can see, it's not a very fast method. So it's better to have it on the Samsung default method. Next up is the Quickstar. Now Quickstar is the complete customization of your notification panel and quick toggles area, as well as, as, well as the simple indicator, which is basically a customization of icons you want up here. So if I turn off the battery, which means it won't be showing me the battery percentage and same goes for the Wi-Fi. You can have a pretty clean look if you want to but obviously I'm gonna turn them on because they're really useful. So let's see the Quickstar's main thing, which is obviously customization of your toggles and the notification area. So you have three of the default ones, or you can create your own customization coloring as well. So let's see, first up is the color one, which is for the icon. So let's set it to pink and done. Now the color two is applied to the text. So let's set this all the way to blue because it's more visible. And then we have the background color option. You can have it on white or you can have it on something like yellow, something that stands out. And then background transparency, which is really cool. You can completely make it 
uh, colorless or you can have it on like an optimal level. We have the blur effect, which means when you pull the notification panel down, everything will go blur. And we also have the default dim effect from the old Samsung Oreo UI, so you can have that as well. So once you are done, click save. As you can see, it's now here in my My Coloring tab. I can just quickly select it and apply. And once it's done, as you can see, here I have my own customized notification panel from the text to the icons to the toggles. Everything is customized, which is pretty dope. Now you can also have the notification multi window turned on as well. So you can quickly access that. If you have a notification, you can swipe all the way to the right and you'll get that option as well. Next, we have One Hand Operation Plus. So this is a advanced one hand operation mode, which you can initiate by swiping diagonally on your phone. And uh, basically, you can just use it with one hand with ease. Now, with this One Handed Operation Plus, the edge is utilized as the navigation bar. So if I swipe here, as you can see, it acts as a navigation bar because when I'm holding my phone with one hand, it's uh, difficult to reach this part. I mean, it's easy because I have big fingers, but uh, it might be difficult. So you can actually have this and basically do all the stuff that a normal nav bar does. That's what this one hand operation plus is all about. So you have a couple of options such as changing the swipe action type, regular display option. I've set it on the left because the right one is for that normal edge app so it's easier to have it on the left at the vibration levels transparency if you want it more visible then you can put this at the end as you can see it's now easier on the eyes and you can also change its size you can have it on large same thing with this position you can have it on very low and at the end we have the touch sensitivity option for this as well now next up is the edge lighting plus now this is similar to the older one, they just added a couple of new effects, so if you go here you have the boomerang, the fluid, galaxy which is my favorite, and celebrate which is like the celebration, and of course uh, you can go to the effect tab and customize the uh, color. So you can set any color you want, green, red. Now with the new Celebrate Edge effect, you don't get the option to have custom colors. So that's that. But this is all we have with the Edge Lighting Plus application. Next application we have is called Edge Touch. This basically allows you to customize the edge of your display. For example, if you're having problems with accidental touches, then you can have a block zone on your phone, which basically blocks uh, a certain part of the edge panel. So you can go up or on the side. And then of course, when you go too far, it basically uh, warns you that you have all the content in this area as blocked. So the touch won't respond. And uh, again, if you are having problem with that, with the edge display, this is a, this is a tool to customize and optimize that according to your experience. By default, it is on that optimized uh, level, which is recommended, but you can add your own specific uh, restrictions to the edge panel. Now, last but not the least, we have the routines application. Now, this is a really fun shortcut based application, which allows you to add custom actions that you do on daily basis basis such as turning on the blue light filter every night so you can set the start and and repeat and add more custom actions such as if you want to turn on location at the same time the phone will do that as well if I save it and as you can see it appears right here let's see I'm gonna set the time to 10 58 a.m. and save it it's 10 57 so it's gonna turn on and here we go, it turned on on its own. It's a really, really good feature that works. And I also added turn on location. So as you can see, the location is also turned on, which is really, really good. So uh, this is again, a really fun way to add custom functions, things that you do on daily basis, such as uh, turning on blue light filter or turning on power saving mode after you hit a certain battery percentage, you can do that. You can add condition and more custom actions within the same uh, function or custom shortcut that you are making in this routine application. So yeah guys, these are the all applications we have uh, with the Good Lock 2018 application. A 9.0 sneak peek indeed. A lot of things such as the multitasking tray, the routine application, it does point 
to an Android 9.0 experience UI sneak peek. Hopefully we'll see these features on the Galaxy Note 9, which is expected to come with experience 9.5 version. With Oreo update, Samsung focused on performance, but this time it's all about customization from lock screen to the notification panel, quick toggles, everything is customizable. The routine application is really cool. Some new effects with the edge lighting, the edge touch, advanced way to manage your edges, and one handed operation plus mode, which allows you to use the phone truly with one hand. You don't have to use your, no need to take your finger to this bottom navigation bar. So let me know your favorite feature uh, with this new 9.0 sneak peek. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.